Hey everybody and welcome back to my list for best bourbons of the century so far. And what a list it's been. At number 30, we had Smooth Ambler Barrel Picks, 29, Barrel Bourbon Batch, 11, 28, Evan Williams Single Barrel Vintage, 2000, and at 27, we had Weller, 12-year-old. The hate mail wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And now, number 26. Bourbons of the century, so far. At 26, Wild Turkey Masters Keep Decades. Now, when this bourbon came out, to me, it really helped kind of solidify what so many of us had been saying for so long, and that was Wild Turkey was actually really, really great bourbon. But the problem with Wild Turkey is it got itself connected to these biker bars and all of this rough guy stuff and Jimmy Russell flipping off uh, random cameras and saying, give them the bird, that they kind of got lost in that conversation of quality. But when this whiskey came out in 2017, a composite of 10 to 20 year old barrels, the balance and the complexity, the beauty of this bourbon, it to me, it stood the test of time. And this is one of my favorite all-time wild turkey products. Now, it's no secret. I love wild turkey. Going back to the 1970s, wild turkey was, to me, was hands down, you know, probably the best quality coming out in the 1970s. However, people came in and they tried to market them differently. And they kind of got away from marketing the fact that wild turkey was really, really, really good and they try to put on this bad boy persona. I think that hurt wild turkey and the perception of wild turkey for a very, very long time. I think that's going away. And this bottle, this bourbon, this one right here, the one coming at number 26, to me, this was the bourbon that helped put wild turkey back on the quality map. So at number 26, wild turkey, master keep decades. Now, if you want to see what number 25 was and see what the rest of these bad boys are, click that subscribe button. More is coming out every single day during Bourbon Heritage Month in 2020. Cheers. Oh, fuck, it sucks. <laughs>